I think we have got off to more than a good start over the last 20 years. In fact, we started before we established diplomatic relations in uh, 1990, 24, 24 years ago, with trade relations and a broad range of informal contacts. But in the last 20 years, on the economic front, our volume of trade has increased enormously. Uh, as I said, China is now our biggest trading partner. And it's not just trade. It, every year, 2.3 million Chinese visitors come to Singapore, which is, means one Chinese visitor for every two people living in Singapore. It's a huge number. And it shows that uh, they're aware of us, that they find Singapore interesting, and that they enjoy visiting Singapore. They go back, they tell their friends, they come here again. Uh, on the government-to-government -government side, as I mentioned just now, um, we have started some important projects, Suzhou Industrial Park. Uh, we have the Tianjin Eco City. We have the Guangzhou Zhishicheng, the knowledge city in Guangzhou, which I'm hoping to visit this year later in September. And we have also concluded the China-Singapore FDA, the Free Trade Agreement, uh, which has promoted and liberalized trade and services and goods and been of help to both sides. Uh, I think that China has reached a point now that um, it's very different from what it was when we launched the Suzhou project in 1994. Uh, the openness, the uh, degree of development, the uh, uh, awareness of the world amongst the Chinese population and the sophistication of the capabilities which the Chinese businesses and the cities and the government have all over the country is quite different from what it used to be. But there continue to be many opportunities. I think for the government, on our part, we will continue to work to improve our bilateral relations so that business people can have confidence that they are uh, doing business within a stable and positive framework. And also, we will look, we will continue to work through the uh, JCBC, the Joint Council for Business uh, uh, Cooper Bilateral Cooperation, to identify new areas where we can cooperate together. One of the possible areas, of course, is uh, social management, because this is one area where China is focusing on now, uh, how to manage a society which is rapidly changing and rapidly urbanizing. And we are also in the process of change and we're highly urbanized. So I think there are areas where we can learn from one another. Um, and beyond that, I think the two governments will be working to encourage our companies to uh, develop new, more projects in the, other, in the other side. And it's not just Singapore companies into China, but also Chinese companies in Singapore. And many of them are here, some listed, others using this as a regional or even global headquarters. And with the um, designation of uh, ICBC as the renminbi clearing bank in China, I think the renminbi business in Singapore has increased considerably. Mm -hmm. And that, I'm sure, will encourage even more um, Chinese companies to operate here and to channel more of their business here. So I see positive things uh, ahead of us.